How's everybody doing? <laughs> Happy Saturday. I was just looking at your comment. Thelma calling yourself a tough old bird. <laughs> you crack me up, my friend. <laughs> All right. I see Irene and Alice and Thelma. Can you scroll for me, please? And Jane Gravani. Hello, Jane. And Adeline. Okay. Good to see everybody. I'm sure we'll have many more join us as we get going here today. Ooh, today we are going to work on beautiful, beautiful peacocks. Can you go ahead and move the camera? Hi, Brenda. Hi, Pam. Good to see you. I think I said hi to Alice, but just in case I didn't. Hello, Alice. And come on in. There we go. Okay. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> That's pretty good right there, though. Okay. We're going to work on the peacock garden. Oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. I've just been sitting here kind of getting inspired looking at different designs as we get going. These are back in stock. They're only $1 more than the first lot, so they worked out pretty good. If you're um, looking for yours, they're in the store now. They're also in the last newsletter that I sent. So grab yours. You're not going to want to miss this one. It's beautiful. I'm going to start with this piece of cardstock right here. Hi, Mary G. Good to see you, friend. So I was looking at this, and we have this kind of two-thirds of a DL on this side. But then we also have this beautiful foiling on the other side. So I think I'm going to do a little light construction and see if I can't um, use both of those pieces together. I think we'll start by cutting this side off. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this beautiful foiling from the other side. And I'm going to see if I can't layer this up on my card base. I've gotten out a DL already. And I think I'm going to see if I can't put this beautiful foiling on the opposite edge of where it just was. And with the beautiful bird up against this edge, I can take a little more off the bird. Got it a little too, too wide there. There we go. That's going to be beautiful. We're going to do that. I'm going to take the two edges, <laughs> bring the edge in from one side. That's going to go underneath here. Then I'm going to bring the bird in from the other side. So let's give this a shot. I'm wondering if I might want to cut this off a bit, take a little of the bulk out. I think I do. I'm going to cut this pretty purple strip off. Maybe use that for something else because it's just going to be underneath the way I'm doing this. So we might be able to use that for something else. Okay. Let's see what we get here. I'm going to put this one down. Right here. And I'm going to. You got Catherine and Sharma? Hi, Catherine. Hi, Sharma. I think I said hi to Sharma, but hello again. I'll go ahead and put some tape on this. this down to my, hmm, that's another thought right there, what happens if I bring this in here, I think I actually like that better, I'm going to bring this edge 
to the outside edge. Then I'm not going to have my peacock looking off the edge of the card. I'm going to bring this piece. I'll cut that really, really, really close. I should have measured that a little better. Let's see what I want to do. I think I'm going to get a little piece of a little piece of Mary. What do I want here? And just because I cut this a little close, I'm actually going to use this piece here and layer this up just a little using some extra cardstock this way, but then I won't have a gap. Hi, Glenn. I'm Mary Glasson. Hi, Pam. How you doing, friend? Okay. I shouldn't have had to put this piece underneath, but I just cut it a little close. And I don't want to have any white showing, so I'm going to use this piece of cardstock from the center. And I'm going to add an extra layer in the middle here, just so it's not possible to have any white showing. Thank you. Thank you. I think silver won't do me any good because I have gold foiling. Of course, I could color them. That's a thought. Okay. Oh, it's pretty bright there by itself. All right. And now I want to add my peacock here. Boy, that's pretty. I think and we'll take the extra off the top. So there is a little extra on the top. Just ran out of tape on that roll. I think that's going to happen a lot today because I'm using up my Using up my extras. But that's pretty. <laughs> I do say so myself. And I do. <laughs> so it's beautiful paper. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it needs a little greeting at the top of some sort. Grace pull some stickers for me. Really do have to go downstairs and replenish my sticker supply because I know we have better ones. The white could be pretty. Huh? So the white could really stand out on that. Yeah, it might stand out too much. Oh, let me see what I had for greetings on my punch out sheets. This one actually right here would be pretty. Just this little happy birthday right there. That'd be beautiful. I also like proud of you. Proud as a peacock. Okay. 
get well soon. It's your birthday. Let's look at that one too. That looks good too. This one stands out more though. Matches my colors. Okay, let's get some foam on the back of that one. <laughs> Is somebody turning 50? I'm going to be 50. Where's the rock I can hide under? <laughs> Oh, you're just a pup at 50. <laughs> All right. There's our first card, guys. We took the two edges and merged them on a DL card. I just don't think we want to do much else to that one. There's one thing we could do. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, we have a lot in common, Pam. I was one of the older parents, too. Can you look in the drawer over there where the, um, in the embellishment drawer, which is going to be like the top? third third drawer and see if you see more blue colored rhinestones I really would like blue I'd have to go downstairs and get me something. Um, I didn't have very many of this color to begin with, and I just flipped it off somewhere. It's probably in my hair. Just love. Oh, here it is, clear over there. Oh, these are gorgeous on here, but I need more. I need more of these. What would work really, really great for these might be one of the rolls. A blue. <laughs> I do downstairs, though. You can see where I'm going with that. Getting some rhinestones in the pen feathers. I'm putting the rhinestones right into the center of the fancy feathers. And that will look great. I would like more rhinestones on here, but gives you an idea where we're going. Yeah, because that looks fabulous. And it could do with a few more. Okay. I have another DL card I spotted back here. I just thought really needed to stay in it. And I think I'll steal the border from the side too. At the risk of 
being redundant. Did you find some blue? I found all kinds of things. You found all kinds of things. Yes. This. All kinds of more other colors for other parts. Beautiful sheet there. This is not from my store. This happens to be from the dollar store. But I think you guys will forgive me if I use this. We do have beautiful self-adhesive blue rhinestones in exactly the right color in our store. But these, if I can get enough of the netting off of them, would work really well. I don't know. These might not be worth the effort just to get all the netting off of them. Will you go down and get me maybe two sheets of the blue? Or, and maybe a roll of the blue too from Hunky Dory. Because I just think these are going to be more hassle than they're worth. It was a great idea. And they'd be good on a border. We might still use them on a border. But they're kind of a hassle to get away from the netting. Let's go back to this card. I think we'll put this other edge out here at the side of this to make our card wide enough to be a DL. That's pretty. <laughs> it's actually very, very pretty. This aside for a minute. Let's get a little piece of tape here. On the tape. Maybe right down the edge of this side. Oh, we got a good crew out there now. Good to see everybody. Hi, Betty. These cards are going to be magnificent, guys. Absolutely stunning. Lining that up so they have the same white border on both sides. Now I'm going to cover my card and center that. So that I probably have a little of the trim work in each on each side. Yes, the card kit is available, Pam. It um, just came back in yesterday. It's $19.99, I believe. And they are in the store and in yesterday's newsletter. Speaking of yesterday's newsletter, if you didn't read it, was it yesterday's? Thursday's. I'm not sure. A day's all run together now. Um, I announced that we are... That this kit was back and I announced that we are doing a two-for-one special on the Heartfelt Creations gate folds. Gate? What's it called? It's not gatefold. Gate. The gate, gate. Gateway. Gateway cards. And they're usually $34.95 a piece, which I will be the first to say is steep. But these these car or these dies 
are fabulous. And I'm doing a two-for-one special on those. And they are just flying out of this, the store, Alice. Yes, the, the buy one, get one is fabulous. I do apologize when I rewrote my newsletter. I didn't, I forgot to change the headline. So I announced we were doing Friday sale with hundreds of items when in fact we were doing the Friday buy one, get one. Sorry about that. But the sale is fabulous, guys. They are flying off the shelves. I do encourage you to get them. Um, several of them are already gone at Heartfelt Creations. So when I do have these and I have one more order of these coming, but when they're gone, thank you, honey. But when they're gone, they're going to be gone forever. So these actually aren't the same ones, but I'll use them. That's all you had in for you. They're the, these Great. are the glittered ones. But this one's the right one. Hmm, that's interesting. I should have sent one with you. We'll make it work. Hi, Roberta. Karen. Hi, Karen. I haven't said hi to Roberta either. Maybe you didn't hear me. Okay. Good to see everybody. We're getting a good crew out there now. I don't know how many people we have watching, but there's quite a few. 16. Oh, that's not as many as I thought, but still a good crew. Okay, so on this one, we moved the edge over from the other side. So we had a double edge, and now we're going to trim this off. Oh, that's looking nice. Okay. I want to bring my other peacock back. And Grace just brought up these beautiful rhinestones. I think what I'm going to use is these ones off the roll. Because they're going to be about the right size for these eyes on the feathers. And the one I want to use for this... <coughs> take off a couple of these they put on already because I might as well make a match as I can. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to cut it up through this ribbon. You can tell, I say, or maybe you can tell, I don't know if you can hear it, but my grand puppies are still with me. Gypsy has quite a voice. And dogs are playing outside, but they are being very noisy. Oh, Thursday's video. Oh, yeah, the... Um, the layering stencils and the, that was fun. That was fun. You guys challenged us to try something new. And I really, really liked the way that turned out. But just in case you didn't see it, I happen to have the cards sitting right here. This was the first one that we did using the new colors of the paste. By the way, Brittany came in on Friday. We already had paste um, the waxes back in stock and she restocked all the blues and purples and all of that, all of the colors of the, um, the waxes are back. So um, I was saying they'd be here in a couple of weeks. They're here now, the next day. <clears throat> then we did some work with our layering stencils and we did this rose peony, which I think is just beautiful. 
needs a happy birthday or something down here, but I left room for that. This one needs one up here. And then this was our hybrid card that we did that you guys wondered, could we combine the waxes with the ox ink oxides? And this was the result. The answer was yes, we absolutely could. We mixed them and then painted them on. And they were fabulous. Uh, Adeline Bryce stepped away to go and see if he could control the dogs. <laughs> so he'll be back in just a second. Okay. So I've now cut these into a strip. And I'm going to take this strip out of the middle, this um, kind of turquoise colored one, because those are the ones I want for my peacock feathers. So I'm taking that out. And now I'm just going to put these onto, I'm going to use my glue bottle. And I'm going to put these on my peacock feathers. Hi, Mary R. Come. Two. Did you put them back in the house? Yes. Well, the neighbor's dog is barking, and of course, that's cut off. For such a cowardly little dog, he sure is brave across the fence. I need a little jewel picker here. I sell them. Do I have one at my desk? No. These little tiny rhinestones, she kind of need the extra help. It's going to look good, though. I come in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Taking these little rhinestones right off of this strip and dropping them on a little bead of glue. Come on. Hold them in place. Just lost another one. Don't know where. Let's put that one on upside down. <laughs> Come on. Boy, <laughs> that's my tweezers. Tweezers, I don't have a jewel picker. I am losing my rhinestone. 
I want you guys to see this when it's done, though. Because it's going to be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, creation is fine to yeah. Perfect. Thank you. My honey so sweet. Don't tell him I said so, though. It'll get hard to live with. So it actually is a bigger feather down here. A bigger jewel there. Yes, the lady who's running Heartfelt Creations is retiring. It has led to a run on Heartfelt Creations in our store. If there are things that you want, be sure you order them soon. I have been stocking up in anticipation of this. Not that I knew anything until last week. They did tell the retailers last week. But um, I have been stocking up like crazy on Heartfelt Creations. Because I've been doing this long enough to know that when somebody runs as many deep discount sales as they've been running... they are there is a likelihood that they're either selling or they are going out of business so in anticipation of either eventuality i have been stocking up like crazy um and So you guys will have a chance to <clears throat> finish your collections. And you guys know that I love heartfelt creations, even if I've given them a really bad time over time about their inking mats. <laughs> I love heartfelt creations, and there's still a lot of classes we want to do. So I've been trying to get enough of the retiring products to be able to still do some of the classes that Margie and I want to do. I am turning this into a diamond painting. <laughs> I'm almost done with them, though. I just wanted to put these right in the eye, where they were showing the eye of the feather. There's actually one down here, a couple down here. These are big ones down here. I put a big jewel down here bigger <laughs> one more Sorry to take so long. We won't have to do this with all of these because we will have actually done it once. But look what happens to this. When we put the diamonds, with the gems back up a little more. More so we can see the card. There we go. Hi, Laura. 
There we go. Look what happens to that. It just comes to life when you put those jewels on there. I do love that. Wowzer, that's beautiful. Aren't they pretty on there? Okay. So we have all those in. I love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. We have our second one here. <clears throat> you know, it could be fun on this one. We have these long strips now. What happens if we take one of these long strips and run it along that border? That could be fun. Gonna have to have a nice long strip. <laughs> Ran them right out of business. <laughs> probably it was probably all the talk about their inking mats. Really need my detail scissors for this rather than my paper scissors. <laughs> The one sitting right next to you. Yes. But now I have enough. Okay. Hi, Mary T. Catherine says her neighbor has adopted a rescue puppy across between a husky and a bison. Oh, my. A bison? <laughs> a bison. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Between a husky and a bison. <laughs> That's clever. Bijan. Oh, a Bijan. Okay. <laughs> I kind of like the husky and the bison personally. <laughs> That's a vision right there. <laughs> All right. I love that. Now let's see what else we can do. We need a label of some sort up here. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> that one's too pink for there, don't you think? It works. You think it works? Karen likes the husky and bison too. Oh, I like just thinking of you actually. This is just right for right there. Because it has the same flower. And then maybe somehow we should add. Maybe add a bow? We could add a bow. You want to get me something that will match this? A satin, maybe. I think satin with a but a small satin. And blue or teal or green. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I actually have a little light at the bottom. I'm going to trim off while I wait for rice to retrieve ribbon. Now I don't have light at the bottom. See how that works. I could put a strip up the other side too, but I kind of think the strip up one side is kind of neat. Oh, I brought some of everything. Okay. Blue or green? I think blue just because of the blue. Green's beautiful too. I think we'll go with the blue. And the will make it right here. 
terms of things for the sale. I got my date, guys. Oh, I'm glad you got them. Aren't they beautiful? That's really, those are really special. And like I said, those are already sold out and heartfelt. So, or some of them are anyway. So it's especially great to get the ones that you that are already gone you're not going to be able to get later a two for one i like to share the wealth you get a good deal you get a good deal but they are selling like hotcakes i'll tell you that don't um, miss getting your um, your peacock garden pan because the first batch sold out really fast and the second batch is going. So if you want this card kit, don't wait too long. Okay, it's just a, we're not doing a kit. It's just the deluxe craft pad with the toppers. The card stuck in the inserts. Did that look good there, I think. Be careful if you do what I just did and use your liquid glue on your bow because you don't want to saturate it through. And let's put this up on some foam squares. Mary just asked, is this a kit? This is the deluxe craft pad. So um, I did not put together a kit with all the Mary and stuff. Um, oh, Bryce is going to click. Uh, is going to link it for you. There it is, right there. And I told you they'd get more expensive when I got the ones from Hunky Dory, but I only had to add one dollar. So they're still quite reasonable for everything you get in the kit. In the pad, I mean. I just said there is no kit in them. We could put <laughs> I'm not going to take the time to do it right now, but we could put some more rhinestones in his tail feathers. You already saw me do that once, and I don't want to take up your time again. But look, your first two cards. I think this one here needs some stickles, too. Alice is asking, are you back to ordering directly from Monkey Dory? Not usually in a case like this where the where the distributor was already sold out and I knew they weren't going to be able to get them again. I went ahead and went directly to Hunky Dory. But I try not to do that because it costs me about 40% of the cost of the goods just to ship the goods. And so I have to charge more and I don't like that. So... Okay, let's do this one. We have one of the square cards. Well, usually I can get a better deal at the distributor, honestly, because I pay flat rate shipping rather than, hmm, I need a bigger card. don't know that I have the right size right here. Oh, maybe I do. That could be big enough, though. Well, I might have to do a little search right here. I think I can make this work. Um, let's 
it's smaller than that. That's not going to help me. Okay. These um, peacocks, when you have them in the whole pack and you're just looking at them side by side by side, they're so busy that it detracts a little bit from them. But then when you start breaking them up and you start, you know, separating them out so that you're seeing one at a time, they're just gorgeous. Thelma is restudying French so she can talk to cats. I think that's really cool. I think settling down a little bit in France, Catherine. I didn't hear what happened with the legislative stuff over your retirement age. Are things settling a little bit there now, or is it still lots of protests? I need a little snake in my mirror board on the other side, so I'm going to turn it around and go this way, covering my card in my mirror board. When I cover my card in Mary, I like to use tape instead of glue so you don't have that little glue line. You can avoid that by kind of smoothing the glue out before you put your paper down. But then things don't tend to stick as well. So tape is a good solution. Okay. By covering that in Mary, we can make this piece of cardstock work. For our card. Still going to be close, but let's see. i got to see what sizes I've got going here now card is seven by seven. My card stock is six and a half. One of these had a little snag in the corner. Which one was it? The one the very one I was about to use. Okay. Six and a half by six and a half. Six and a half by six and a half card stock. No, I'm gonna put it on top of the seven by seven. Seven by seven. So I have this border around it. Things are quiet. The French love to protest. It's in the DNA. I believe that's true. I was thinking about that the other night, actually. I was watching the news, and the French really do have a strong history of protests. <laughs> Okay, I also have this beautiful imperial blue, which matches that peacock there. <laughs> you come on your virtual holiday, I'm sure going will meet up with my gorgeous President Macron. <laughs> and three quarters. Cutting this to six and three quarters by six and three quarters. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to layer this. Why not? It's peacocks. They're beautiful. They need all the fanciness we can provide. Wider borders. Huh? It's not wide enough borders. It's not wide enough borders? I think it is. It is. I think it's centered, right? Yeah, I like it now. Okay. 
<laughs> now this time I'm gluing on the cardstock and then gluing to the Mary. Um, there's a case that can be made here for taping here too. Because the tape actually adheres better to the Mary than glue does. Because the Mary is a... Yeah, non-porous material, but in the interest of being able to move it around, I'm gluing it. And this time, I'm going to glue just so I can move it around. But I'm keeping my glue away from the eighth-inch outer edge, so I won't have any ripples in my Mary. France is for sure one of the best allies the U.S. has ever had, though, from the very beginning. <coughs> okay, so here's my base for my card. I like that. It just seems appropriate for a peacock. <laughs> Good night, Karen. That's one option. Where's my watch pin? That's so loose. <laughs> okay, let's see. Get a little extra texture. My card. Adding some little ribbons. Whoops, just did that backwards. <laughs> I, I, I might too, Charm, if it weren't for the fact that I. Do in class and you need some speed. <laughs> but I do understand what you're saying.
Well, that was pretty pathetic. <laughs> Let's try that again. Really, really, you've been hearing me say this for too long, but I really have to clean my scissors. I sharpened it before class, but they just didn't take the edge they usually do because they're messy. Okay, let's look at these again. I like that better. Okay. Okay, I'm going to glue this frame in place. Glue this in the middle. And really lightly with the glue here, I'm still going to smooth it a little bit. So we don't end up with a bunch of strange ripples. That looks good. I'm going to put this up on some foam squares. You know, sometimes you just have to move stuff around, don't you, Pam? You kind of just kind of move it around to get everything to look just like you want it to. Got it sticky. Wasn't gonna let my fingers go.
I think we're done. Back up just a little so you can see the whole card. There we go. I like that one. That's three. Let's see what we get next. This is pretty. What do we have left for card leftover for card stuff? No ledge there. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. I'll take this one so I can use the other corner for another card. I think this looks like a square. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Charm, you're funny. Okay. All right. I'm going to cover this. What size card is this one? That last one's a five by or a seven by seven. This one is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. A five by five would work just fine for this. Come on. are really tuned in today. I appreciate all the comments. That's excellent. Okay, so we've got our card covered. I'm going to go ahead and take this pattern out of the corner. And my card is five and a quarter. So I'm going to go to, I think, I think we'll actually use a five by five. I can always cut it down a little more if necessary. Oh, that's pretty. That looks beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know which side's up. Actually, it looks like I have a little wave in the bottom of my... All right, let's turn that off just a little more. Okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know if I have enough ribbon left for both there, but... Just the I was that just thinking nice. that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great minds working along the same lines. Yeah, that could be really pretty there. Okay, I'm going to get a piece of thin tape and put on my ribbon. <laughs> That's a good idea, Irene. Wrap the kids' gifts in the comics. Uh -huh. Roberta's grandmother used to wrap her gifts in the leftover cloth from quilts. That's fun.
Thank you. My ribbons, my adhesive is showing just a little bit under my ribbon, so i got to do a little tucking here before I put my ribbon down. Just push it back on itself a little bit. That was why I used that tape, so I wouldn't do that, but I still did it. Okay. No adhesive showing anymore. That right around the corner. Still gonna want something, I know. But it's gonna be. Oh, I like that. I'm liking this. This is pretty. I think I'm going to put this up on some foam tape. Do it away. I just feel like it. carefully in the stand with all this tape on it. Aren't these peacock cards just beautiful, guys? Oh, I just think this is one of the prettiest collections that Hunky Dory has ever done. Of course, I love peacocks. <laughs> that could be why I feel that way. I just love them. And I do think I had a sentiment stripe that might be really good on the bottom here. Let's see what we have left. this proud of you that would look really good there i kind of like the straight across in contrast with the diagonals that we have i like that so we'll put that up on some foam oh i wanted to tell you guys i can't believe i i'm just remembering this this is super important. Listen up for a second. The Iris Garden is here. It's listed and it's going out the door super duper fast. I had four I wanted all, so I have one left. Um, it's here and it's just magnificent. If you want the Iris Garden from Heartfelt Creations, it's their latest release. Many of the pieces are already sold out on their website. And you're going to have to get it really soon if you want it. Look at that. I love that proud of you on there. Back up just a little. There we go. How's that? That's beautiful. I love it. Love it. So, Iris Garden. Don't miss it. Maybe you could link Heartfield Creation so they could find that. Okay. I have this piece. 
Let's find a topper to go on this. That's a good one there. Okay. I must have this one down here. Let's see if I take this one. Looking to see if you would in the heartfelt how many of things we have left. Can you do that for me? How many of what things? Uh, okay, sweet magnolia. Skip over those. Okay, the iris garden petals die. How many of those do we have? We're down to three of the petals dies. The bloom, iris garden, no, that's the blooms die. We have three of the blooms dies left. Go on down. Uh, the iris garden accents die. Let's see what we have in that. We have five of the accents dies left. Uh, the shaping mold. We have six of the shaping mold. Now, I'll tell you, if you get the dye, get the mold for this one because you know how ripply irises are. You really want the you really want the um, the ripple shape. Go down to the garden iris garden petals. You also really want the stamps with this one. We have five of the iris garden petal stamps left. And f how many of these? Five of the Iris Garden Blooms stamps left. And how many of the Garden Accents? The Garden Accent stamps, we have six. So, and then the Iris Garden Paper Collection. We have six of the Iris Garden Paper Collection. I'll show them to you on Wednesday if there's any left, but they're going so fast, I wanted to tell you about it today because I'm concerned that they won't be here. We only have one of the I want it alls left out of four. So if you want one, let's get in and get those because you might not get them otherwise. Okay. Don't miss this one. It's beautiful. And because, you know, I, because they are discontinuing a business, I think it's extremely unlikely that they would reorder this. Okay. I like that one there. That should fit a five by five. This is going to be another five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I don't have a lot of room to spare on this one, so I think I'm not going to put down Mary board on this one. I'm going to go straight to my card. You linked the Iris Garden, right? You linked it before. I linked it to Hunter Heartbell Creations. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to put Mary under this one because it's going to be pretty close with this card size. I want to have room for my image not to look cramped. This is so pretty. This paper, oh my gosh.
I could put. <laughs> a plot of better protest. <laughs> Catherine, you're funny. <laughs> Good night, friends. Sleep well. <laughs> I think what do you think this is in with the ring in okay this is with the ring out what do you think in or out Ring in, ring out. I vote out. I kind of think so too, Alice. I think it's fun to kind of pick up some of those pretty background colors. Any other votes? I think Alice and I are taking the vote then. We're going to put down the ring. And then I think up with the center of Huntsville Foam Squares. Okay, get some home cards under here. Good. Yeah, usually I love that foiling, and we might be able to use that ring for something else, but it just looked good. Wow, it's only three nineteen. We're doing great. <laughs> We're doing great. With our kit. You know what I haven't done is inserted any of these. Okay, now. I kind of got that. Hopefully, I can lift this without bending it. Kind of got it leaning. Looks better. Let's see. Now I got it up straight. Careful doing stuff like this because you can bend your pieces and then you'll be really frustrated. Okay, let's see what we got here. I have these fun greens. Let's see what I can do with that. These um, rhinestones I'm using are all from Hunky Dory. I do love that. Pull the greens in. Isn't that pretty? I might want a greeting. I don't have an awful lot of room, so I don't feel like I have to put a greeting on this one. 
doing a good job of using our paper. That's beautiful. I think I'm not going to do that. What I do think I'll do, though, is maybe... Um, insert a couple of our cards once we have the inserts here on this one we used these inserts are colored all over so we can use the extra paper for more cards which is always good used this one and this is this one and let's go ahead and this is this one I'm going to go ahead and put my tape down, cut around that. Put one rhinestone in the empty corner. Okay, so I'll come back and do that. Oops. That was a little premature there. Actually, I have to put this topper in and cut it first because it's in the wrong corner to just do it that way. Just set it in there. Cut out the corner. Now I'll pull the... off of my tape and go ahead and insert this okay this one you want one rhinestone in the empty corners I actually have two empty corners so I may want two of them I wish I had two of the medium sized ones. I'm going to just do a different. Do I have enough? Though I don't have enough. Never mind. I was going to do a different pattern, but I don't have enough of them to do that. Okay. Put my rhinestones in the empty corners. This time this insert goes this way. So put it inside and trim around it. And we'll tape it in place. Insert in, close it up. Beautiful card inside. These two, this one goes right here. Thank 
I love this paper. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So majestic. Gonna keep these insert sheets because I can use those on some of the others. They sure do. Let's go. Let's go. Tape that a hold of my scissors. Next card. We got I promised we'd do six. We have five. We might be able to get an extra one in. Okay, let's see. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one? Okay, Bryce is voting for do the pink. You got the money. That's going to be, per be a perfect basics. Inserts of the middle frosting in the cake. <laughs> That's just gorgeous here. Really, really beautiful. A6. Yes, European A6. two that are perfect. I have to decide which one's better. We have that one. Happy birthday. And we have this one, which I think would be beautiful in that space. And it says you are amazing. I think you're amazing. i take the little nibs off of my thumb. I a, we don't always have much in the way of nibs, but this particular piece punched out with quite a few. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. I just don't want to do much else to it. That's beautiful. Oh. 
That's a, just a perfect fit, this image on this card. To look and see what else we have that we'll want to go on that red cardstock. Pink. I don't want to do much else to that, guys. It's just pretty the way it is. With the foiling and the... It just... I think it looks finished. Okay, Fred. I can't remember who Fred is again. But we know Fred. Um, good to see you, friend. Tell me who Fred is again. <laughs> insert it with the corner of this piece. Oh, we're making beautiful, gorgeous peacock cards. They might like some stickles on this, actually. Maybe on those flowers. Dorothy. Dorothy. Yes. Hi, Dorothy. <laughs> yes, Dorothy. Good to see you, friend. I knew I knew you. Just couldn't remember. Uh oh. Got a little. Piece under there. Let's see if that's going to be a problem. Kind of got a little piece of. I'm not going to put that on there because I'm not going to like it. <laughs> Take that tape up. And there's a little narrow strip of paper stuck to the bottom of my tape. And I said, huh. I'm not going to like that once I put my insert in there. I know it's not. I'm not. So why do it? <laughs> Better to fix it. <sighs> there we go. Bryce is asking for some stickles. I think those flowers especially want just a little stickles. So let's see what we can do. Oh, that's a good idea, Sharma. Okay. I'm going to put some stickles on the stamen in the centers of these flowers. That looks beautiful. I'm just going to outline the flowers gently and lightly. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. You, I think you saw it put the sail up, Lisa. Did Thelma get back yet? Oh, I wanted to. <laughs> oh, geez. That's terrible. Accidental caps. We might have to ban you. Say <laughs> goodnight to Betty. She's going to dinner. Okay. There's a little bit of stickles on the flowers for you. Better. I put this on the table so I don't ruin it. <laughs> I have to always remove them from my immediate reach or I destroy them with the stickles by putting my arms in it and things. Okay. I want to do that actually on this one too. I think this one needs it too. All right, let's see. What can we put on here? I think there's a big one back here. 
don't remember what size card I got out for this. This is a big one. That's going to look beautiful in there. It's going to take a big card. I did have some. I have a big E5 here. I don't know if I want anything that big. But that's even bigger than an E5. What is that? Huh. I'll just cut it down. Okay, I'm going to cut this card down a bit. I don't, um, I'm not sure where I got this. It's actually oversized for an E5. E5 should be half of the size of a European A6. Excuse me, half the size of a, of a sheet of... Um, Uh, yeah, adorable, scorable. <laughs> okay, so this should be. I'm going to make this this card. It's going to be five, I'm going to make it eight and a quarter by five and five eighths. That's the size I'm going to. <laughs> so now, look at that. Now it's going to fit just right. Okay. <laughs> that was a funny story. Thank you, Alice. I knew they would be because they just, the raw material is so beautiful. They just outdid themselves with this kit. They did. <laughs> so it's going to be a big card. But that's okay. Sometimes we can use a big card. Put this gorgeous piece of foiled cardstock on our newly cut down card. May have to trim things a little bit more because I kind of got it off just a bit. What I wanted though, this is craft style tape, so I might might be able to lift the tape without tearing my paper. Now I'm ruining it. Ah. This is why you don't lift it up. You just you just adjust for it. Because when you do that, you do dumb things like tearing it up like I just did. Let me see if I can salvage it. I might be able to. Might need a new piece of cards to, uh, new my toppers kind of go right over there where I wrinkled it don't do what I just did you get aggravated and take them off and it nine times out of ten you end up wishing you hadn't <sighs> irritating but that's why we don't do it 
I'm going to see if I can salvage it. I think I can. Get a few more patient this time. You know, I started to put it down the same way again. I wonder if the bottom is uneven. All right, I got it that time. I have a little ripple right in the middle, but my topper's going to go right there. So I think I'm going to be okay. Don't do what I just did. Oh, you get frustrated and pull them apart. You almost always end up throwing it away. So don't do that. This is going to end up being okay. Uh, Thelma, your um, cutouts for um, Sparrow Hill are here. I went out and played in puddles. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> now this time I'm definitely leaving the ring in because I rippled my vapor and I need to cover it up. So I'm going to definitely leave it in. You might enjoy taking it out on yours because you won't have a ripple on yours because you won't get impatient and tear your paper off like I did. Yes, we don't want to do that. But since I am Leaving it in, I'm going to put glue on. If I need it, glue at the bottle. I'm going to put glue on both parts. This is where I can tell you again, as I've told you so many times before, if we were just recording videos, putting them out there and, you know, editing out you know, all of the boo-boos, you'd never see this stuff. But <laughs> sometimes you learn just as much from what you shouldn't do as what you should. And <laughs> it's... Good that you see me make mistakes and realize I do it too. We all do it. And then we just fix it when we can. The dogs are going nuts. Delivery. That was the person at your front door. Oh, it's the dog food being delivered. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do here with this. I'll put some foam squares there. That looks nice. Now, what do we want for a greeting on this big one? Let's see if we've got one. Those are very good colors for this. I have it with love. This is really nice. I still have a happy birthday. Okay. So I have this. It just looks nice. I 
That actually looks nice to put a mouth on. I think I like that. I think I'm going to put them both on. There's a lot of paper in that kit, isn't there, Thelma? It's a, it really is a bargain at $50 for the kit. It's a huge bargain. Because those, those pads were priced pretty well. Anyway, then we gave you an extra 10% value in the kit. Okay, insert. This turned out okay, despite my, <laughs> despite my woo woo. What am I doing for time? I still got time. We're gonna get another one. And you guys already know that with four topper sheets and all of these card stocks, that you're going to get lots and lots of cards out of this deluxe kit. Hunky Dory says you'll get eight. I say you'll get 24 or more. Beautiful. Can you back that up just a little so you can see the whole card? It's a big card. Doesn't that turn out pretty, guys? Okay. Let's see what else we can get here. There's a pretty one there. I don't think I have the right size card blank for that one, though. Maybe I do. There's this one. I could get two. But that one. This one's the butterflies. Yeah, let's see what we can do with the butterflies. Now, I'm designing as I go today, Mary. <laughs> no mock-ups today. I'll tell you, this butterfly paper they put in here, I almost just want to cut it up in four note cards. Look at this. I just want to create four note cards out of it because it's just beautiful. Gorgeous. But you know what it needs. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, we got ideas. I got ideas. I am going to make some note cards. And I think we'll put some. <laughs> I might say a few words. It's a PG channel, Thelma. <laughs> okay, we're going to have another roll of tape. And said I'm using up all my little partial rolls today. Oh, this is just beautiful. A DL card would be beautiful. Maybe I'll do a DL and two. That's a good idea, Roberta. Let's do a DL and two um, note cards. I like that. We need another DL card here. I think so, but I don't know. My cards are out of control. Here's a whole pack. A little pack of the else. 
I like that idea. Oh, gatefold would be beautiful too. Okay. This is just fabulous paper. Yeah, a gatefold would be great with these. You can almost hear the, the wheels grinding, can't you? Oh, look at you. <laughs> That's exactly what you're writing. You know you've been married too long, when. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You have them spinning. I have them grinding. That's the only difference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. So the first thing I want to do... Let's hit this with some sequins right there, or some rhinestones right there, because I think that's going to look great. Don't you know that rhinestones hit right in the middle of one stone so they don't want to cut off. Charm asks, are you still working from the book? From the book? The pad. Oh, yeah. This was one of the designs in the pad, Charma. I don't know why they combined butterflies and peacocks, but they did. There is a small butterfly topper in here. I think it's going to want to get used on one of these. Thomas asked, are you using the four colors of the rhinestone tape? Yes. See that? It's the hunky dory tape that actually has those and then that's what I cut apart in my strands to cut them up but I don't know if I want that on there actually not sure about that brown on there does it punch out the center no can you cut out the center I potentially could it just kind of distracts I think. Let me look and see what else I have. Maybe I'll put a peacock on it. It just doesn't look quite right. Oh, this is beautiful. Here we go. That's bitter. That's bitter. Put a bird on it. <laughs> oh, Irene, I love you. Okay. Now I'm getting into the diamond sparkles because that's what Bryce brought up. They're beautiful. Dorothy says she has those rhinestones, but she's been afraid to use them. Or she hasn't used them yet. But they look fabulous. They do. And you can cut these apart in individual pieces like we did before. You can use the stones individually, or you can use the tape. They're just beautiful. Okay, let's see. Brenda agrees that topper is better, too. Much better. Much better. Much better. 
Yeah, that other one just didn't do it for me. And I see another one that's going to be beautiful. On our other one, we're going to use a peacock. Because there's a topper just the right size. Okay. We'll do this here. And then we're going to use some of these diamond sparkles after I spread up. And we're going to add a little something over and under this topper. Got to be closer in than that, though. Oh, come on. Right here. I got all kinds of colored mirror board out to use it, but I just haven't found it necessary to use the colored mirror board yet. Look at that. They just don't get prettier than that right there, I gotta say. Really. Could use maybe a touch of stickles, which I'm not gonna do right now. Let's get this other one going okay although this might be a good one to try I cut just a little my hand cutting of my card it was just a little off. <laughs> I think that it might be fun. Oh, found the piece too small. Might be fun to put a little Mary in behind this one. Okay. Let's see. Well, the real trick is to keep yourself stimulated by getting a few new things and using what you have in the process. That's why these use your stash classes are so good, because my hope is that you will find that there are ways to use up some of the wonderful supplies you already have on hand. You've seen what just a few rhinestones and a little stickles will do. The paper is so beautiful anyway. It doesn't need much. And it's so busy that it doesn't want a lot of extras. But you can see in the spirit of use your stash, I'm using pieces of my gems and pieces of my leftover Mary. Okay. It there. I need just one card. Did I keep it out already? No, I need just one card out of there. Oh. All right, let's cut this down to fit on top of that. We know that a European A6 is four and an eighth by five and five and seven eighths. 
So I'm going to cut this down to be five and five eighths. wide kind of a rough edge on this one. I'm just gonna trim up my edge a little and then I'm gonna do three and seven eighths whoops my hand slid there we go now let's see how this fits with the purple area behind it. That works. That works. Okay. Well, we're going to use a peacock topper on this one, I think. I think it was a nice color. Go well with this. Okay, no rough spot there. Cut it off. That looks good. All right. The thing about using purple is now I might want purple rhinestones. <laughs> I have to look through what I have here. one sheet in this book wasn't cut quite as well as they normally are. Little snags. didn't like those on there. So I think we'll go with this. And we're going to try and experiment. I think I've tried this before and I think it worked. But I'm not positive. I'm going for my Bic. Intensity marker in purple. I'm going to try and lift some of these stones. And we shall see what happens. I believe it worked. Yes, it does. And it's alcohol ink, so even though these gems are non-porous it will dry might take a minute they are pretty dark might not end up showing much but 
なってきて。Self-adhesive rhinestones. It's always a pretty good idea to glue them <laughs> because even though they're supposed to be adhesive, I will end up gluing these back on. Actually, like that with white. But we do know that you can create them using your intensity markers. Alcohol markers. I do like this. Actually, I like this a lot. <sighs> that would look good to just continue the circle on around. I'm not going to right now though, because. Unless I have a guide, I won't get them straight. This doesn't look straight. I pick it up and show you and realize it looked crooked. Now they know I'm going to glue them. I'm going to, if they're going to go here, I'm going to glue them. All three of them pop off really easy once I lift them. The best glue ever would definitely keep them in place forever. That would be a good way to do it, Rupert. I dropped that, but I happened to drop it right in place. <laughs> With my glue and my glue, I'm going to clean up. <laughs> it is just being really obstinate. <laughs> had the old glue and sticker on the bottom and then I put it in the glue and it just doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take those off, clean my cardstock good, dry it off, and then I'm going to put them back on because that was not working.
Okay, there we go. I like that a lot. Okay. Put this up with the finished ones, and let's get this DL done. Hunky Dory is pretty easy to um, organize to Charm because you can organize everything by collection name or the kind of material it is, like Mary. It fits into categories well. Just a little extra wide. I didn't want to undercut it, so I cut it a little extra wide thinking I'd trim it off, which I'm going to do. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going with my tape idea again because I liked it. I have to cut this off at the bottom because it's an uneven row at the bottom. Lots of rhinestones to pick up when I'm done. One's falling off. Okay, I have 
Oops, that is creating hair. I'm going to go ahead and put it there, and I'm just not going to mess with that too much. I think I'll put a little stickles on this card. It's just beautiful. I'm not going to mess with it much. Maybe put a little stickles. This is hard because all of it's so pretty. I don't want to cover anything up. All right, now where do my stickles go? Put a little stickles on my butterflies. It's coming out really heavy for some reason. A little heavier than I like. Switch to okay. the purple stencil. Huh? Stencils. Switch to the purple one. <laughs> Good blue. Which stick are you using? Stardust. I don't know if I'm going to do anything more than the butterflies. I kind of like that. Let's get a little on there. They'll be beautiful when they're when they're dry. It helps them stand out too from the pattern. Let's see how many cards we've got. And I've got uh, you've got one over drying. Can you bring that back for just a second? We can show it off. We have so much more material here, guys. Okay. So out of this one, we get this. Plus this. Plus this. And to the that's three. Here's the one we sent over to dry earlier. Hi, Toinette. Number four. Hi, Annette. Number five. Number six, I still want to stickle this one. See, so here's where we use that single line of jewels. See that? Seven. Right side up, might be good. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten. I did ten cards today, guys. 
I said we'd do five or six. <laughs> We're overachievers. <laughs> I'll put a little stickles on this flower down here. Because I think it kind of wants it. I believe we have um, the um, Glitter and Glaze class coming up, which is going to be fun. That's always fun to do. That's by your request, Roberta. You had asked for that. It was time to do one of those. Uh, kits aren't up yet because I need to get some um, some kits, um, some glitter and glaze kits done. Just a little bit on the flower. Might need a little bit elsewhere too. Not sure what would happen if we stickled the peacock. Let's just try it. Remember to go light handed. This particular bottle doesn't understand the concept of light handed. <laughs> Nice thing about about um, adorable scorable is it's got that coating on it. So if you don't like something that you've done with your stickles, as long as you wipe it away thoroughly and dry it, you can wipe it right off. This bottle just comes out really fast. I've never had one that came out quite so fast. I have another bottle here. Got less in it. Should be interesting. That was Stardust and this is Twinkle. This one doesn't want to come out at all. That's the lighter line I was wanting. I'm not sure I'm going to like it on the peacock, though. I'm taking it off. you got to try stuff sometimes. I do have a butterfly up there I might stickle. I know I like it on the butterflies. If you do wash off your stickles, make sure you get all the glitter picked up. Okay. All right. So we ended up with 10 cards today. If you haven't already hit that like button, please be sure you do that. It makes me feel good and it tells YouTube that this is a safe place to recommend that people like what they're doing here. Our next class up will be Glitter and Glaze. It's always one of my favorite. It's really messy, and I do so love that. <laughs> we got just a beautiful collection of cards done today, guys. Gorgeous. 
lots and lots of pretty things done today. Careful with that one. It goes, it's wet. That's a lot of cards in one day, but they're beautiful. Didn't I tell you that when we took them away from the base and we use them one at a time, they're less, they're less busy and each card is more beautiful. So that's great. Uh, so if you haven't already hit like, hit like. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit subscribe. You don't want to miss that um, Glitter and Glaze class. That's a, that's a really good one. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not sure what I have up for next Saturday. I have conflicting information here on my desk. I believe it's a G45 class, but I have to look for sure. And um, lots and lots of, of good stuff coming up. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Be sure, be sure, be sure. If you want the um, if you want the um, iris set from Heartfelt Creations, get it soon, guys. Don't don't delay. And we have those beautiful dies on sale. Buy one, get one. You can get those also. But don't wait for the um, for the garden iris or the the iris collection because you just might not get it and that would make me feel terrible because i can't get any more so anyway i think that's it for today if there are no questions comments or pearls of wisdom then i'm gonna say good night crazy